Hi, puppy. You're on camera. <laughs> What would you say, yeah, Bobby? So cool. I want you to film me, but block my face. And put like a voice modulator. <laughs> I'll try my best. Oh, it's not really stupid. <laughs>
It is March 7 today. It is the full Virgo full worm moon. Worm moon. Oh. Worm moon. No. Worm full moon in Virgo. That's what it is. I have a market tonight uh, called the Moon Mercado, and it is my first time doing this market. Um, I have another sling, sling? Oh, I have a lot of these zines because I almost sold out of them, but I am pretty happy. I'm, I'm actually not pretty happy. I'm so happy how these came out. But uh, I'm getting ready for another market. I have like an hour before I need to hit the road. Um, but I have an email sign up sheet today, which is cool. And um, after my last scene fair this past weekend, I learned that I'm not really a fan of having, um, whatchamacallit? Now, I'm not really a fan of having prints at markets anymore. I think my zines and aura paintings do just fine. So uh, that's what I'm going to focus on. I have one more zine fair this weekend and then one more market uh, towards or next weekend on the 19th. So this vlog will be market heavy. Um, but I guess that's part of the full freelance, full-time artist life. Um, but I hope you enjoyed all of the uh, footage that I've had so far of me putting together these zines. It's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm ready to sleep. But um, see you at the market. a bird, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my the god. Horse birds. Horse birds. They're not actually Right now, my desk is very messy, but don't pay attention to that. I feel like a lot of artists and like YouTubers will just be like, yeah, everything's messy, please don't pay attention to it. But then, you know, it just causes attention. But anyways, I'm getting ready to paint a flyer for my workshop um, and or my watercolor painting workshop that's coming up in April. Um, but I recently bought a new palette from Daiso, which I bought this one, oops, I bought this one in Japan many moons ago, and she's broke. She's broke, um, unfortunately, oh sorry, I keep bumping into the camera. She's broke on all parts, so I'm really sad, but um, that's why 
I bought a new one. And I'm about to christen this palette with um, some new paints. This this one back here, this one is um, also an older one, but my friend Scheherazade gifted it to me, and it's very big, um, but this is just so much more convenient for me to bring around. Um, and I guess it's time for new stickers. Uh, my friend Annie made this sticker, very cute. I think it'll go perfect on here. Um, yeah, I perpetually have like 10 palettes. Like these ones are really tiny. This one's from Case We're Making, but there's only like this many paints because that's all I could afford. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, yeah, this one I use for my aura paintings now, and it was funny because this little girl was like, you're running out of paint, and I was like, no, I just need to fill it up, but um, apparently, well, not apparently, I found out you could order from Daiso online, it'll just take a month to get to you, and it's also $20 for shipping, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get into my new palette. Ah, time to dirty it up. Pew! This is the most meticulous I've been with putting colors in a palette. Usually I put it as I go, but for this one I want it to be prepared and ready for me to paint today because I'm making that flyer. So Check it out. Um, it's pretty rainbowy. I got my pastels, primary, and then some other colors. Um, shout out to Vincent for buying me a lot of these paints, also other friends, and just collecting them over the past like 10 years. Um, so, and I also can't wait to decorate the front of it because I have so many cute stickers that can go on it. So, I think, yeah, we're gonna have like three ish free spaces. Oh, hell yeah. So, I'm just gonna fill up like the first half of it, pretty thick. Um, and, cause I don't want to, I wanna have some space for the water when it's dry and when I can. Which I guess makes sense in a way. Ugh, these are a little bit shallow, more shallow than these side. But that's okay. These are like my, my cute colors that I want to incorporate in my work a little more.
done. This is about 120, which is more than I ever thought I would finish today, which is making me feel very hopeful that I can get all of them out by the end of the weekend.
Hello again, friends. Thanks for making it to the end of my second vlog. If you are new here or returning, let me know. This is a clip of me troubleshooting my Alice in Wonderland book, so it's not too exciting. I might throw up an illustration or like a speech bubble to, to cover it up. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen my poll asking if I should condense my four hours of footage down to 30 minutes or split it up and the majority of you voted to split it up, so I did. I will now be posting vlogs once a month to help with the length of footage I need to edit, and I'll also be trying to post small videos on the in-between. That being said, my next video will be a full process video of my Alice in Wonderland book, and by that time, I'll also be putting up pre-orders for a playing deck I designed. Woo! Um, then in my next art vlog, I'll cover my trip to Miffy Town and some other art adventures. Anyways, I'd like to leave you all with a message from the fairies about laughter. And I really need it because I have recorded this voiceover a million times today. So laughter means every cloud not only has a silver lining, but it also has a humorous side. Try to objectively stand back from your situations and find a humorous twist. Laughter will help you see your life from a new perspective so that you can receive creative insights and solutions. The affirmation is, I find the humor in life and I laugh easily. Breathe in and breathe out. See you guys again soon. Bye-bye. Oh, she's here. Oh. I'm gonna charge my camera. Okay. Oh my god! Uh.